Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. I just wanted to jump on live real quick um, and give everybody a minute to join me. Thank you so much for being here, for being with me live. Um, so I titled this video, Doesn't Have to Be Perfect, right? So everything we see on social media is always perfect. Everything's wonderful. Everything's perfect. We see these like beautiful pictures of these well-made plates and everything we strive to do and strive to be. And I wanted to talk about that when I'm with our pets, because I know when I'm scroll scrolling through social media, I see all of these wonderful pictures and these posts. And um, I appreciate more than anything when people are just real about like, Yes, like look, like look at this zoomed in perfect picture, but then let me zoom out and show you like everything around it isn't always perfect. today. Again, my name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. If you don't know me, um, you can check me out on Facebook and make sure you join the group on Facebook. Um, why not? It's free, right? The Art of Pet Parenting. Go ahead and join. Um, and so in this video, go ahead, if you're with me live or even if you're watching this um, later on, if you're watching a recording later on and it's not live, go ahead and post in the comments um, your name, where you're from, well, Facebook will tell me your name, but where you're from, um, and how you found my page. I would love to hear that. And, oh my goodness, my printer just started making a bunch of noises. So, um, talking about, like, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's better, right? And what I'm really talking about is our pet's food. Um, my dog is completely raw fed, and I love that. And what I, I love looking on social media, I'm like scrolling through my feed and I see all these wonderful, beautiful pictures of these um, really well put together plates of, you know, DIY raw food for dogs and cats. And I love that my dog just took to raw, a raw food diet and she eats it every day. Um, and it's, it's amazing and wonderful. I see such a huge change in um, her health and her overall well-being. Um, I know that I'm doing really well for her, but I wanted to talk to you about my cats. Um, I have every intention of feeding my cats a raw food diet because I know that it is the healthiest thing for them. It's species specific, it's biologically appropriate. As long as we're balancing that food, it's going to make a huge difference and their health and well-being and yes balancing is key and um, yes you can do it on your own you don't necessarily have to buy pre-made um, you know commercially made meals but we know that a biologically appropriate species specific diet which for cats and dogs is a raw food diet what do they eat in the wild they hunt and attack their prey and dissect it and eat it raw and whole, they eat these whole foods raw. So we know that that is the best nutrition for our pets and I would love nothing more than for my cats to also be on a raw food diet. Um, I have tried many, many times. So I wanted to share with you guys that like it isn't always perfect and that's okay as long as we do better. So all of my cats are 10 years old and above so they're all, um, according to, you know, veterinarians, they're, they're older. Like some of them, my oldest is 16. She is geriatric according to, you know, veterinary medicine. Um, they don't want to eat a raw food diet. I have tried over and over and over and over again. And I want so much for them to to, to receive all the benefits of that healthy diet. And I'm not able to do it. And I it crushes me inside. I try over and over. And you know what? I'm gonna keep trying, but I know that 
there's still other options out there. So I wanted to just like discuss this because um, in my opinion and in many others opinions, any amount of fresh food we can provide to our pets is going to provide them a better quality of life. Both, I mean, just for their their health, for their physical health, um, for, you know, when we know better, we do better, right? So when we're talking about what can we do for our animal who just absolutely, it doesn't matter how hard we try, how many times we try, how many things we try, they're just not taking to that raw food diet. There are other things we can do. And uh, my husband really kind of pushed me to do this video because for me, I have a really hard time coming on social media and not being picture perfect, right? Like I am out there just, you know, preaching <laughs> the, you know, please let's put our animals on a species specific biologically appropriate diet. It's the best thing we can do for them as pet owners is to feed them the best we possibly can. So it's really difficult for me to come on social media and be like, it, I, it's not perfect. I'm not perfect. Um, but it's just the truth, right? So there are things we can do and I do feed them. I still feed them a fresh food diet. It just happens to be cooked because um, they, they're so far, all of them are just completely resistant. Every once in a while I can get them to take a nibble. One of them especially, my cat King Tut, is very interested. So like if I give him the tip of a, a chicken wing, he will gnaw on that and gobble that down. If I give him um, the abduct, is that what, abductor muscle, muscle from a scallop, he loves them. They really are like kitty crack for him. He loves the little abductor muscle, muscles from a scallop. Like he will, he will try and take some of the um, uh, rad cat when we had rad cat available to us. He will try and take some of the answers food, but he won't eat a whole meal. So, and he's the only one that I have that, out of all of my cats who have any interest whatsoever in eating raw meat when I, you know, mix it into their wet food or whatever I'm doing. The bottom line is that if we hit this, if we hit a roadblock, if we're trying, if we know that we, we can do better and we know that, you know, this is what we want for our pets and we want to feed them um, the best nutrition that we possibly can, but they're resistant and we try and we try and we try and we, you know, you put that 10% into their wet food and, you know, 10% raw food into their the wet food that they're used to getting and they pick around or they just won't eat it at all. It happens. I understand. So right now I am doing a mix between wet food, which I use, um, we Ruva, if I can say that, say that 10 times fast, we Ruva, um, pet food, canned food for my cats. And I mix that but they sometimes get that and sometimes they get a cooked food diet from me. And the way that I do that, and I don't do it every single day, I I mean, I don't make it every single day. I feed it to them every single day, but I don't make it every single day. I make large batches that um, usually last me a week. Um, I'm going to be getting another freezer so I can do even larger batches. So I make it and I freeze it, but I just take, you know, beautiful cuts of meat, um, and different meats. I've tried pork, which is a little on the fatty side, I'm not gonna lie. When I make pork, I actually put it in the fridge after it cooks so that I can skim off the fat from the top of it. Um, you know, cut off as much fat as I can from it. It's a little, for me, it's a little fatty for my cats, um, especially for um, King Tut who has IBD. Um, chicken, great um, source of protein for them. I've given them beef. They love it. We do turkey. So I rotate the meats. And what I do is I just cook it. I put it in the slow cooker with a little bit of water. I cook it all down. Make sure, um, I mean, you don't even have to cook it all the way through. As long as you heat it through, maybe your cats will take it if it's like half cooked. If it's only cooked rare, you can try that. And see if your cats will take that. It might be an easier transition to a completely raw food diet. But to make sure they're getting all of the balanced nutrition that they need, I found um, a while back and I've been using it quite regularly. I absolutely love it. It makes meal time so easy. Um, I found a premix called Food for Life. And um, it's not F-O-R, it's F-U-R, so Food for 
life because they have a, a mix for dogs and a mix for cats and literally all you do you have a beautiful um piece of meat if you cook it you keep the juices that that, that you cook it in that uh and if you keep it raw just keep it raw put it in the food processor I, you know, blend it to a mince that my cats like. I mix in the appropriate amount of food for life um, powder with water and boom. I have a healthy, fresh food, nothing processed, no starch, no kibble, no, none of that crap that I know isn't good for my pets. And my cats eat it up. They absolutely love it. So is it perfect? No, it's not. Is it better? Absolutely. You don't have to rely on kibbles and commercially made pet foods, even if your pet isn't yet on board with a fully raw food diet. Um, and honestly, my dog is. I'm so thrilled. I love it. My cats just aren't there yet. And I keep trying and I'm going to keep trying. But right now I'm really happy with the fact that I can feed them a fresh food diet that I know is balanced um, from a company that I trust, which is Food for Life. So I wanted to share that with you guys. No, it's not perfect. Sometimes it's hard for us to share when things aren't perfect, um, but it's okay. So it doesn't always have to be perfect as long as it's better. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, nutrition is such an important part of our job as pet parents. I talk about that in my book, Seven Miracle Steps to Training Your Dog. The book is not just about training, it's about um, getting you and your dog in the right place to really start a training regimen. So it covers training, it covers nutrition, it covers enrichment, um, and how we can do better in all of these areas. I put a link in the description above, bit.ly slash canine secrets grab your copy you won't be disappointed and tell me in the comments how you're doing better for your pets um we know that kibble is literally killing our pets so how are you doing better let me know in the comments i'm so excited to read them I might even share some of them so go ahead and post in the comments how you're doing better for your pets and i will see you guys on the next video Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.